welcome into this presentation of minor league baseball from the double-a texas league tonight the second of four between the san antonio missions and the frisco rough riders the missions are looking to collect their eighth win in a row next Kenny Rooney, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Got it. Got it. Second. Stepping in, Professor Slugger, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. skied into very shallow right. Gomez coasts under it. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling d -Row? Well Matty this team can do one thing very well. This lineup leads the league in home runs and that's why people pay the price of admission. They want to see the long ball. Everybody loves home runs and it's exactly what this lineup gives you. They get count leverage 1-0. Stepping into the box, Raul Aquino. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. The 3-2 pitch. Ball to second. This could be two. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. They couldn't turn the inning-ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Fernando Ruiz. He singled his last time up. Fernando Ruiz. The 2-2. Is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. So one run on two base hits, one error in the inning, and three men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Rough Riders lead it four to two. Now at the plate, Professor Slugger. He flew out in his last at bat. Professor Slugger. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. So far this season, Slugger comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. Soft liner towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You know, that's a nice knock right there, but I want to take a look at the base runner. He got a nice secondary lead. He read that it was a soft liner, and it was going to fall, and he's able to steal his teammate an RBI. Boy, uh, amen about that, d -Row. One of the things I think it, it, base running is all about seven, instincts, and that was a terrific lead. read. He Man. took a chance right off the bat that that ball was going to break in and fall in. Job, and he picks up an RBI for his teammate. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Sent toward first. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Off the bat, that had soft base hit written all over it. But a nice snag there by the infielder on that soft liner. That could have been a potential base hit. Digging in to try it again. Luis Torres. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Torres. And now they've got him in a rundown. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. So one run on two hits, no errors, and no one left on base. 
We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rough Riders are out in front, four to three. Digging in and looking for more, now Professor batting. Slugger. Second he came inning. through with an RBI Second single inning. in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So another run scores there on the base hit. Their fifth run in five innings so far. And we'll show you a look on cue at the highest scoring offenses in the league. And as you see there, they currently own the top spot in the Texas League in that category. Digging in once again, Lee Lim. Lee Lim. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out. And He's having a hard time doing that, so as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Three and oh now. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Slugger stands at second with two gone. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. And a relay to the plate is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. So two runs on four base hits. No errors and a runner left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. San Antonio's out in front five to four. Digging in now Pablo Batista who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. It's on the ground out to second. To his right. And quickly, there are two away. Ready for another shot now. Professor now Slugger. Second baseman. Professor Slugger. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. Here comes the 0 1. Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The missions lead it five to four. So digging in now, Professor Slugger, although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. First offering on its way. Way in front of a great slider that time. No ball, one strike. Oh one, here's the pitch. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Two one. Missed with a slider. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. 
McConnell on third with two out. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Batista trying to get there, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a liner, but foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So it's one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. San Antonio's out in front, six to four. Wow, that's eight wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. A six to four finish in tonight's affair. The missions rack up a division leading 40th victory of the season. Sean Werner earns his third win of the year in relief. Jesse Rosario records the save his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the San Antonio Missions and the Frisco Rough Riders. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Samuel Urban, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy is one of the most dominant pitchers in the game. And how dominant? Picked up a double-digit strikeout total in his last start. And hopefully, he'll bring that A game with him in the ballpark for this one. So digging in now, Professor Slugger. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Second baseman, Professor Slugger. First pitch coming. Here it is. Just short, hit hard. McLuhan from the outfield grass. And there's one away. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Dero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? You want to talk about a team's worst nightmare. That's what this lineup possesses. They lead the league in on base percentage. I don't care if it's hits, walks, hit by pitch, does not matter. They are finding ways to create traffic on the base pass almost every day. At the plate, Adrian Gomez. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready with the 0-1. Runners off for second. Hit on the ground is short. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We've played two full. The missions lead it one to nothing. Ready for another chance. Professor Slugger. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Digging in for his second at bat, Angel Rosales. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Popped up. Tan is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning.
Riding in once again, Luis Torres. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 0. Now a throw over, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Here it comes, 1 0. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gomez moves over, and he makes the catch for the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Oswaldo Chassin. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two run shot to right center eighth home run on the season for him as it's now a three nothing ball game. Yeah, and it looks like at least one player is having a night to remember. He drove in their only run earlier in the game and continues the hot hand with a deep one into the night sky. Digging in, Chris now Perez. Perez. 0 for 1 here Perez. in the early going. Chris Perez. On the ground, out to second. Slugger. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Three innings complete. San Antonio's out in front, three to nothing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Professor Slugger, two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that misses inside, one and oh. Rounded up the first baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 0 now. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Stepping up now, Angel now Rosales. Right fielding, Angel Rosales. He's running. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So one run on one hit, one error, and two men left stranded. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The missions lead it four to nothing. Stepping into the box, Pablo Batista. First baseman, Pablo Batista. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Towards second, Slugger over to his left. And that's the second out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping now in, batting. Professor Second Slugger. Year. He singled his Professor last time up. Slugger. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Castro makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. 
San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. Ready once again, Chris Perez. He flew out in his last at bat. Chris Perez. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Played on hand. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored an infield single. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a So striding in, now Professor Batman. Slugger. He's two for four in the ball game. Slugger. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. On to first, and that's your ball game. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth, and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Frisco Rough Riders came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Paulo Espino wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Robbie James wraps it up for the save, his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the double-A Texas League. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Kirby Heels gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Now batting, Lauren Asuncion. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. One. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The hooks lead it one to nothing. Stepping in, Professor Slugger. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leaving of the first. Second baseman, Professor Slugger. Here's the first pitch to him. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1-0 and oh the count. Guys, yeah, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They do come in off a victory last time out, but they've really hit the skids here recently. Losers of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, guys, after the first four games on this road trip, they find themselves two and two, kind of par for the course. But they got to find a way to play a little bit better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. The 1-1 one -one home. Skied into straightaway right. Montañez is going to get there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? 
Yeah, Maddie, a lot of professional at bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. Standing in, T.J. Jordan. Leading He'll get to take his first Richard. cuts here. First baseman, T.J. Jordan. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. It's on the ground out to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And Manning second base today is a guy with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range. It's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff, making the routine play, and making sure every two is turned. So striding forward now, now Professor second Slugger, baseman. as he'll look to bring home that tying run from Slugger. second with a base hit into the outfield. Has a look, now the pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. Slugger very well could be starting the upcoming All-Star game. He currently leads all second basemen in the league in fan votes. Hey, let's give a round of applause to the fans for voting this guy first at his position right now. He is not what comes to mind when you think All-Star, but you know what? Check the numbers right now in the first half. He has been a dominant player. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We've got more on this Sunday night after this. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Tim Fedorovich. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. The one two. Out towards second. Slugger has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the lineup flips over and now digging in. Professor second, Slugger. Baseman. Professor Slugger. First delivery to him on the way. Out into right center. Well hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. The relay throw. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. And the screen shows the story right there as that hitting streak will live to see another day. In now, Angel Rosales, now runner in scoring position with two guns. Angel Rosales. And the runner's breaking for third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Now at the plate, Lee Lim, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The runner's breaking for home. Oh, he's not squaring as the pitch is a ball. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision to say the least, and the inning is over. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up. The hooks are out in front here, one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Andres Gomez, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Drilled to the right side. 
And that is through into right field for a single. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start out the inning. At the plate, Max Stone. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Looking to leave him loaded. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. So one run here on two base hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Hooks lead it two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Professor Slugger. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez moves over, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money, so he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, one out, and that game's on ice. Well done. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Hooks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Josh Killian gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Kirby Beals is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Connor Fernandez earns the save out of the bullpen, his 11th of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Grover Lloyd, a native of the Netherlands, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Coming to the plate now, Lauren Asuncion. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The 2-1 home. Bouncer to the left side. He's got it. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Now at the plate, Professor Slugger is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First delivery to him on the way. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Matty, coming off last night's W, we had a chance to catch up with the manager. He just liked the way guys are playing. They're showing up to the yard ready to go. They're playing as a collective group. A lot of good things happening in this clubhouse. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. 
the 1-1 home. And there's ball two now. McFarland leads off second with nobody out. Nip the corner, two and two. I got to count, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering down the third baseline. He's set, here's the two, two. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he is out at third. So credit him with a double and an RBI here. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. Now to the plate, Cesar Espinoza, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Your basic 6-4-3 will get him out of danger. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Benny knows he reached on a single in his first try. First and second now, one man out. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. To second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Ready for another chance? Professor Slugger will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early and don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Digging in for his second at bat, Lee Lim. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Lee Lim. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Kiroz will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Luis. Torres, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Popped him up. Ascension is calling for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Matt Stroud. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Before the 0-1, he'll check on first. And he just manages to get his hand in. And there he goes toward second. This is hit softly to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The missions lead it two to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Oh, Professor it. Slugger. He was drilled by a pitch Professor his last time up. Slugger. Slugger. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Change up in for a strike. Barrios at second. McFarland at first. Two out in the inning. Now both runners are breaking. Strike taken to throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two-out double steal. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that, especially knowing that the guy behind the plate isn't known for his arm. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it to him. 0-2, oh, here it comes. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We played four full. San Antonio's out in front, three to nothing. Stepping into the box, Jason Boswell. A couple of walks for him thus far. Jason Boswell. And in front as he rolls over it to second. Fields it cleanly. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The missions lead it three to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Professor Slugger. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Slugger. Has a look, now the pitch. And that's by him, it's 0-1. Runner at second here with one man out. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four and you know that save situation's gone out the window, don't tell me that didn't hurt. Oh, it does hurt oh. you. Oh, it does because, Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball, you get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. The second for one, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. At the plate, Lauren Asuncion. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. It up. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. San Antonio get their 20th home win this year. Jesse Rosario claims the win out of the pen his first. Ramon Blanco closes the door for the save his fifth of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Kyle Lloyd gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 
Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Professor Slugger. From the belt, the pitch. In there, strike one. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Hey, thanks, Matty. This is a big one here, d -Row. They've won two of the first three of this series. This swing game here, you'd like to win three out of four. I know it, you're at this point, but boy, a split certainly would not be good for this ball club right now. Yeah, Dan, to win the first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set, but you don't want to end this 2-2. You work too hard early to not win this series. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's the word on them as they try to split the series, Mark? Well, Matty, the defense better be on its toes today because this lineup likes to put the ball in play. A lot of guys from one through nine. Digging in, Rafael Montañez. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Montañez. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Two is left. And there are two away now. Riding in once again, now Professor Batman. Slugger. He flew out in his last at bat. Slugger. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit out towards second. Tidwell is there, and there's out number two. At the plate, Professor Slugger. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Slugger. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. The one-one home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Moving under it, he rose. One out. Digging in once again, Benny knows. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Max Stone. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Digging in and looking for more, Rafael Montañez. One for two on his line so far in the game. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up leaving two. 
six seventh and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six San Antonio's out in front three to one. Ready once again Jason Boswell comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. even though we're moving into the back end of this game they're only down by a couple of runs you know that old slogan a bloop and a blast they could certainly right now base hit into right center throw into second and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well when you're winning a game this late the last thing you want to do is give the other team some hope and that's what this air does. They have a base runner and a chance to make some noise now. Stepping in Professor Slugger. Second baseman. Professor Slugger. Here comes the first pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Oh, Fastball misses exactly. inside. It's even at one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air to left. Feliciano on the move. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third, and it's a 4-1 to one game. That was a good controlled swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The missions took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kyle Lloyd earned his fifth win of the year. Ramon Blanco hammers down the save his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score, first for the victorious mission, four runs on six hits, two errors, they left ten men on base. For the hooks, one run on six hits, one error, they left 15 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 50 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening. And please drive home safely.